right guys thank you so much for subscribing to my channel my name is Caleb Karoga and I believe Ukulia Masio Ushamba um, I've introduced some ducks uh, what I've been doing is I was waiting for this duckweed this green substance you see here this is duckweed eh? uh, it's it's a phytoplankton phytoplankton meaning it's an aquatic plant uh, that is good for not only your ducks but also for if you're doing fish farming so I got these two ducks and um, the purpose is to well one clean the pond because <laughs> if there's any debris for example there could be some floating dead insects let's say a fly or um, a bee or any insect it could also even be a tadpole or a frog or anything that that is edible <laughs> that is an animal or an insect small animal or insect that comes into the pond and floats or just you know dies in water uh, if it's a little animal the ducks are going to eat it sometimes um, they may not eat it but once you put catfish catfish are going to eat even the frogs if there are any frogs or tadpoles that are here they are going to eat them but for today we got uh, these ducks uh, they are also oxygenating this water by that I mean as they are swimming in the water of course they are mixing the water uh, so it's not stagnant anymore they are swimming here they enjoy themselves and the water is not stagnant anymore so as you see them swimming look at that skinny dipping <laughs> look at that all right so the more ducks you have the better okay and this is good food for them the duckweed see the duck eating the duckweed they will also eat any mosquito larvae uh, any mosquitoes trying to breed in this pond just show off <laughs> all right um, so I would I suggest that you think about uh, think of uh, putting up such a system um, your ducks will have a very good source of uh, just you know duckweed swimming and the same water is what we are pumping out using our solar system uh, we got a solar system there you see that one there we got another one over there uh, which we feed into a drip irrigation system that's our farm there there's a uh, the spinach uh, that other block we've done uh, kale, kali kale, I've shown you before, uh, but today let's focus on the ducks. So of course, the more ducks you have, then you can sell the, the ducks, either the ducklings or mother duck and father duck. <laughs> um, it could be a source of income for you. So there are many purposes and I would encourage you to think of an ecosystem setup as opposed to depending on say maize or chicken or only one source of income think of establishing an ecosystem uh, this works very well for smallholder farmers who don't have a very big piece of land this is about an acre least piece of land so with this i'm able to get free rain water this is this pond collects rain water from these gutters over here you see these gutters okay so whenever it rains i collect water from uh, this structure this structure used to house chicken that one houses goats i have goats over there so all the rain water is collected comes down using this or, or, or rather along this uh gutter it comes down and feeds into my pond so during the rainy season i have a lot of water like a lot of water so looking for more ducks to make sure that uh, become a serious duck farmer so that they are going to eat all this all this will be their food as they oxygenate the pond and also i have planted sun i mean uh, look at that see that bee i've planted uh sweet potato vines 
So bees will come and get their pollen, I mean the nectar <coughs> on the inside the flowers, the sweet potato flowers that are planted on the edges. So if I walk there we'll see a bee, but we can wait for a bee to come. Have you seen a bee? Okay, mister, show off. <laughs> oh, they are very, very happy. I could spend hours just watching this. So when they get tired, they will actually just get out of the pond. So don't worry, when they get tired, they do swim out. So when the water levels are slow, we normally uh, put a small ladder. Put a small ladder for them to climb up. Um, but often, most of the times, the pond is full, so they will just swim out of the pond. All right. Um, so yeah, that's my small ecosystem. I just wanted to show you that. Uh, hey, Mister, how are you? you Wanna say hello? <laughs> there we go. So all this is duckweed. Don't worry, you are going to eat it. All right. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate very, very much your support. Thank you so much. You see, it has gotten out. Yeah. That's how they get out. And then they're going to dry up. Then when they get tired, they come out again. And so the game continues. All right. Um... Thank you so much. My name is Caleb Karoga. Remember, Ukulima, Sio, Ushamba.